All right, we are back, and we are on the draw. We are not keeping this either. Um, this hand, slower. Looks like our opponent went to six as well. I think we can afford to keep this. Our opponent went to six. Their hand's probably not stellar. Um, looks like it may be old school death and taxes. We'll find out here in a moment. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to pulse that, by the way. If you're wondering what I'm planning on doing, I'm going to pulse that right now. We're going to hope that my opponent does not have a revoker, because I'm going to cry. If he's got a revoker, we are screwed. <laughs> and green. Yeah, Revoker on Diamond puts us back down to one land, one card in hand. It basically made us mold a four and discard down. All right, so they've got a Swords in hand as well. Let's go ahead and just throw the Sacrificial Lamb out there. Let's get that out there so that that way we, uh... yeah. Goodbye, Knight. Swords to Plowshares. Oh, no swords. No swords. I'm fetching my Caracas. No need to waste a wasteland. Get out of here, land. I don't know what he kept, but I'm happy he kept it. Canonist. Um... Still not sure what exactly my opponent is doing. I'm just going to go ahead and pulse that Canonist. Do I care about the Canonist? I don't think I do. I'm going to play this Jit. You know, he has choices at this point. I mean, if he has a way to kill the Knight, then I can fetch the Arbor and swing in that way. Um, guess he could have gone for Jace as well. I'm gonna go get the Arbor too. Hope to draw land. Liliana, that'll... My god, I really, really, really hope he does not have a counter spell. Because we are nut drawn over here and I would love to continue this process. Ah, uh, Mana Leak. Okay. We're coming in for nine, though. How much we are doing. Second Canonist. Guess what we're pulsing now. Don't you dare have a Spell Pierce. Or Divert. That would... I would cry for Divert. Do a lot of crying, this one. Alright, so as far as decks go, blue, white with Aether Vial. Aether Vial lets us know they're an aggro deck. There's a Swords, yep. We have one of those two. I'm just going to go ahead and equip here. Flagstones makes me think that's just annoying. Sure, so next turn we play the Stoneforge Mystic. Don't you dare draw out of this now. And the choice between what I plan to do next turn is actually drop the Batter Skull into play instead of. <sighs> Never mind. We'll just do it again. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll make him think that, hey, look, we may have done something. Alright, you have three swords and two swords in the yard. Don't draw a Snapcaster. I forbid you to draw a Snapcaster. Thank you. Game is over. Yeah, we would have drawn some swords. Alright, so we're thinking aggro deck... 
Um, can't say for sure, but I'm going to drag this stuff in and like debating between this but what we saw was just the two uh two bears so this won't kill those i i would suspect that he's probably got snap casters and everything else under the sun probably a stone forge mystic you know i th hmm i think this will be enough and i'm just going to pull out three discard spells the reason being even though i didn't get to see his hand I don't suspect too much out of it. I mean, I guess Teague sounds better against, like, Jace and whatnot, but no. Well, he's if he's only running a couple things, then yes. This looks like a really bad hate bear deck, and I have no idea what's going on. He's going to kill me just because I said that. So, I don't know if you guys can hear what's going on outside, uh... I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it sounds like somebody's dead car. Um, why am I not bringing in the chokes? He's blue. We're gonna hold off. Don't have a lot to go off of. Our, our cripple fight ended in me just kind of drawing live and staying that way. Um, I am gonna keep this. Start off green sun for zero oh, there's his vial why what are you doing the reason I'm green sunning for zero here instead of anything else like saving it for later when it could get something a little bit bigger one if he forces it oh my god I'm happy but I'm actually counting on him uh, either killing it or the land in which case that gives us access to Bob still, still library, all these things. So. Alright. There we go. Uh, don't need him to stifle, so. Get Bob down there. This will play around days. And Bob's a little bit more important than this top, as we already have this. Spell setter sprite. I saw that the first game. Mistress Factory. Hmm. Kind of scary. Land and Mox Diamond. Alright, so he's going to have to blow graveyards in order to do that. This lets us play Knight and keep Knight up to fight against his Bajuka Bog. Uh, if he knows what he's doing, what he will end up doing is uh, he'll attack with this, he'll put the 2-2 two two counters on it, and then he'll blow the Relic because there's no point in there that I can actually fit that in. So I'm going to make him do that before I start going to try and do other things. Uh, other cards we have to worry about, he's got this vial and that Caracas. I mean, he could easily go for Mangara. If he plays Pithing Needle, we have to do stuff. So there's that. Let's see if he noticed the good play. Or is he just going to go for our land? I mean, I don't mind that either. Yep, he's going for our card selection and whatnot. So... We will have a maze of it. We will have colors. Yep. To your little heart's content. And if we want, we can have Pride Mage. Which doesn't seem too bad. Um, let's go ahead and get that out there. And then it becomes a question of do we want the Vial or do we want the Jit. And in this case...
I guess we gotta keep him off. Cause if he, I get, sorry about that. I was thinking to myself, I was, and I don't know why I get caught up in that. So if he has in his hand Mangara, he puts Mangara down. We blew up this jit. He aims at our knight, puts Mangara back up in his hand, and then just rinse and repeats every turn. That's that's the death and taxes lock. Um, if we take this out, he can do it once. Uh, we still get to go and fetch because he's got to aim for the knight. We get to go and fetch out our uh, what you call it, um, Maze of Ith, getting rid of our forest. So he gets one shot at it, and if he doesn't have it this turn, we get to go ahead and maze this guy. Next turn, we get to fetch out a Caracas. Then we can fetch out a Wasteland. Like we get options is the thing. He could just flicker this, in which case we lose it, but... Oh, he is. Alright, so we should be alright now. Yeah. I do not foresee too many issues at this point. Um, we're going to be drawing a lot better than he is. We're going to be getting rid of some stuff. Uh, we just need him not to draw swords to plowshares. And he is playing the blue and taxes. Well, that's just silly. Why would you use that now? I guess he just wanted the card. Um. Yeah, blue and taxes. Ha 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 ha. Love that deck, man. Oh, all right. Let's go get this. We're just going to stop this. Uh, this does mean that the Zealous Persecutions will be coming in. So, I don't need to know all that stuff right there. At end of turn, we're not going to fetch just yet. Yay, relics find relics. That's why he did it. So... I am going to go ahead and kill or he's got no blue mana available we're just gonna kill that I'm not gonna make him re-equip and go through all that process and headache but I will keep the bayou Are there counters on that? No. See, the question becomes, do I want to just go ahead and swing? And if I do, then I tap that. Like, I get in for three. If he blocks with this, with damage, or with this trigger on, I untap this. And that makes it so that no matter what happens, he can't do a thing. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get in there. Like, him hitting me for a couple damage isn't a big deal. I forgot about that. That was my bad. I even looked at it and started thinking about it. I was like, he swings back with that. and Hmm. guess we have to let the knight go then. Or not. So, even better, we ended up uh, getting his relic out of the way. Yeah, come on in. You can have two counters on that. I'm not too worried anymore. For the love of God, try and get that knight. Yup, there's one. Well, that's just stupid. Alright, so we're not worried about our opponent doing anything else. gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually get the Savannah didn't realize that we didn't have another Bayou in there 
So, yep. <laughs> He's got a third one. Stop drawing those. <laughs> he bored in like ten of them. All right, what are we seeing? Batter skull. We're always gonna yield to that. Yes. All right, there's a jit of our own. And yes, I do want the jit. I'll leave the other two there for now. So this lets me take three a turn. That gives me four turns to have stuff to have to deal with. Well, that's just... I'm going to take one. Just need him to not draw too much. What the heck? I th I'm starting to... Are these things actually exiling themselves? One, two, three, all four of them. Wow. Yeah, that's fine. Should have taken the jet just in case I drew the ooze, but... I mean, I only have one land anyway, so... Alright, yay, shuffle effect. By the way, next game we are bringing in the Zealous Persecutions. That's if this goes to a next game. I mean, we may actually get this. The chances aren't very great, but, I mean, things happen. What did I exile so far? That's him. What did I exile? Okay, the Arbor's in there. It's the only problem with this idea. So let's see. We take three this turn because he's not willing to attack us the right way. Our maze pretty much has no effect other than taking a creature out of combat, so to speak. Next turn, he can only swing for one. Really? Stop that. Next turn, he can swing for four, five. He is not pressing his advantage. Alright, so we have a knight which is tiny right now. We have a pulse. And a dismember. Next turn I want the dismember. For this turn I just want the pulse. So, don't want to shuffle this right now. He still gets in for the same amount of damage. Unless he figures this out. My god. Alright, I'm done playing. We're going to go to the game where I actually know what I'm fighting against. Oh, wrong one. That's the top one. Convert a mana cost. Name. I do want you to, and that is all I want out of that. Want to keep bear fight. What all did I take out? I brought in four things. Teague, I do not want. Do want bear fight, jit, library, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I smack it in. I'm going to actually take a pulse. All right, let's go. Game three. This looks pretty good. I'm trying not to play into another script sprite. I'm gonna go get the planes. Go get the swamp. Get 
that out of there. What do you got for me? Yep, there's the relic. Yeah, you can have either of those. Don't care. Draw me a pulse. Bear fight. Okay. Go get the forest. I'm going to play bear fight. And I'm just going to pass. Yep. Bear fight means win, by the way, against aggro decks. If you didn't know. Um, the unfortunate thing is that these packs are worth absolutely nothing. They're like three ticks apiece when you sell them. So the loss that I took and this win... Yeah, we're not breaking even close to that. I have to win another one just to break even. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. Uh, he needed a sword in order to kill that bear fight. And some people just can't handle it. So, yeah, until next time.